Washington Valley Varieties with April Davidson. I'm your host, April Davidson, and today I have Jessica Ray. Oh, Let's just imagine. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> good to have you, Jessica. And so you've got a cooking um, show you got on Facebook. Yes. So um, the Facebook group that we um, have created is called Cooking with Jesse Ray. Um, my name is Jessica, and my middle name is Ray. So I, I like. You know, I grew up with being called Jesse, so um, Jesse Ray. So that's what I decided to call it. I love that name. It's I very, do too. <laughs> it flows very nicely. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me a little bit about what you got going on. Okay, so the whole COVID nineteen and being like locked down. I, I have no problem cooking. I love to cook. I love to um, just be everywhere. Like food wise. Um, and I had a friend, she called me up and she's like, Jessica, I was like, yeah, how did you make your boiled beans? I go, what? <laughs> she goes, how do you make boiled beans? I go, what do you mean? I even told her, I go, what do you mean how to make boiled beans? And she's like, well, you know, our friend Rochelle had said that you made the best boiled beans for her daughter's going away <laughs> party. And I'm like, dude, you just boil the beans. And I told her how to do it. And then she's like, how do you make your rice? So I tell her, she totally messes it up. Like, <laughs> and I'm like, how do you mess that up? So um, then I was talking to my friend Rochelle about it. And she goes, you know, Jessica, everybody likes your cooking. Why don't you go on and do some live cooking demos? And I was like, yeah, maybe I'll do that. And I thought about it and I thought about it. And then I was like, you know what? Instead of flooding my Facebook group, I decided to add a Facebook, not my, my Facebook page instead, add a Facebook group and invite everybody. So I just went and I just invited everybody from my Facebook page and I knew not everybody was gonna join. Um, I thought maybe 10, 20 max would be in the group. I figured just be close family and friends and just us a way to socialize with each other and see each other because you know, I don't even know what day of quarantine this is or lockdown or stay safe. <laughs> Someone posted 21. I'm like, that, that's it? For like a six months already. So but how many people did you end up with? As of today, we have 247 people in that's the group. awesome. <laughs> Not so even expecting that. <laughs> so that was a big surprise for you. Yeah, very big. And so um, what I heard you've got a Starbucks challenge going on. Well, the Starbucks challenge did end last week. Okay, but, okay, but um, tell me about that. I absolutely love Starbucks. Like, my boyfriend jokes all the time that we have to put my Starbucks into the budget because... <laughs> it can get a little expensive, I, yes. It does, it really does. And um, I have seen a commercial of their caramel macchiato um, creamer. So I bought some, and I just so, so happened to buy, like, the caramel macchiato um, cold already you know you can okay, drink it yes and so i was like you know i would be silly because i really wanted a starbucks and i sat there and i did a little video and i started saying hey guys you know i miss starbucks this this and that and i'm just gonna make my own starbucks drink i had the starbucks coffee pot i had the creamer um i i had the other coffee it was so good and then at the end i go it just popped in my head because i wasn't planning on doing the challenge i said you know what i want to see your guys's starbucks drinks Show everybody has their own favorite drink best thing is because then i called it a challenge you had like my sister goes on there she had like one of those coffee presses and she was using oh, it up and yum. down with the creamer and it made it thick and foamy and i was like oh, i have one so i tried it it changed my coffee look like oh how i look goodness. at coffee it's so good um i broke it since then so i'm sad <laughs> Um, I need to order oh, another no. one. Yeah, I'll thank my three, five-year-old for doing the dishes on that one. Oh, oops. And then it was great because um, more and more people started going on. The guys were coming on and doing coffee challenges. My brother-in-law had a creamer. He's like, look, black coffee, creamer, that's perfect. <laughs> Um, our friend Jim was sitting there, and, and, and it was so great. He was sitting there, and he's looking at the camera, and um, he's talking about the best coffee that he's had and just going on and on about this coffee. And then all of a sudden, you see this mug come into the picture. And he goes, thanks, wife, for making my coffee. Oh, no. Wait a second. So these people are doing it on video? Yeah. So, oh my gosh, so they're making it on video. Yes, and they're posting it to the group. So that's the best part. So originally, I thought it was just going to be me going live or, or doing videos. No, I had, you know, let everybody do it. So we have people taking pictures, posting, um, taking um, videos, posting, because some people don't want to do live. And we're even <laughs> doing live. 
And then it's funny because like I'm doing a live video and I'm done talking, but there's like 10, 15 people watching. That's great. And then I just ramble on and on. It's like, well, I was going to go, but you guys are still watching. And um, so uh, and so, I'll just <laughs> go off on a whole different tangent. And people are like, hey, we're doing nothing else right now. And we're enjoying this. And this is like, you know, our interaction. So that was nice of the wife to make the husband's coffee. <laughs> yes, yes. He almost took credit for it. Oh, yeah. It was super cute. Um <laughs> So the newest um, one for this week, so that was last week's challenge. The newest challenge this week is beer ox. Okay. So I like beer ox. Okay. And Fresno Fair has the best beer ox. Oh, I didn't know they had beer ox. I didn't know either until this year when I went to the Chris Jansen concert. Very and nice. I think I ate three of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, the beer ox store is, is really good too. And, and um, I. Which is your favorite beer ox store? Well, there's the I think it's like Bullard and West. Yes, I, I that's think, what I was I thinking. I think they're the only ones. I've, I don't know. I've seen a couple, but yes, okay. okay that's well, now I that's one Google of the ones. Okay, and go eat them all. <laughs> um, and so um, I decided to do a semi homemade because you know what? Sometimes like I don't have time to sit there and make dough and do all that okay, stuff okay. And, and then make it. And um, so I get my biscuits and I flatten them out and I roll them out and then I do my, my stuffing of it and then I put it in there, roll it together and I bake it. Very nice. So it's just, mine was the semi-homemade. And let me tell you, I wanna say there has to be at least 15 people in the group that have done it and posted it. And it's How crazy because we're all getting on the same page of making food and watching and seeing each other's ideas one this is all over you guys should have a cook-off well my wonderful aunt has gotten a hold of me and she goes you know the sad thing is is after all this and we go back we're not going to probably do this as much and i want to keep it going and even though right people are saying no we want to keep it going we decided to start a youtube channel which is okay. called cooking with jesse ray and um it's you it's up but I don't think you can actually look at it yet. Um, so I created it. Um, I just have, I just need to start uploading some of our videos, some of our pictures, and then it will be more open. So probably in the next month, I think that will be there. Okay. That way, if for some reason the page does fall apart, people that are searching around the world or California or US, wherever, they can find wherever. it and go along with us. YouTube is all over oh, the yes. place. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you told me something that's going through your church. What's going on with that? Okay, so um, my brother-in-law um, is part of a food ministry at our church. And, um, and they partner up with Trader Joe's. And what they do is Trader Joe's donate their food and they do um, box things up and they give it to people for food. So now um, nobody wants to do it. Nobody wants to go door to door. No one wants to drive the trucks. Um, or, or do anything like that because of right. everything that's going on and it's it's understandable. Well, my brother-in-law is like, there's a need. So he gets a hold of Trader Joe's and he tells him, look, I'm still willing. Can you guys deliver the food to the house? Right. So um, they actually are bringing a, a truck um, with food and um, it's enough for about 10 families. So oh, right. my sister and her husband are going to sanitize everything. Oh my goodness. Gonna, the boxes, the food, anything that's gonna go in there it will all be sanitized. Now. That's amazing. Yes. Now what we're doing is we offer this up to the people in our group. So if you're a part of our group and you're, you know, we tell people if you're hungry, if you know, you can't get to the stores, if you're high risk and you can't get to the stores, if they're, out of food and uh, we're just there to help them and um, we're offering that kind of stuff for our group and it's so wonderful because people when we we've done videos saying my sister's done a video i've done a video uh, i think my aunt's done a video where we're pleading to people if you need food please reach us please contact us please you know this is a time that our community really needs to come together and um and then the amazing part is everyone in our group is i have food i have food i have toilet paper i have beans i if someone needs it i have this and it's so great and um we are very discreet so if they need food we don't tell people who it is um if somebody that's embarrassed and they tell their family or friends they can reach out to us as well and i've actually had someone call me and or facebook me and then um had said, hey, you know, my husband and my son went out, they couldn't find this, they couldn't find that. Um, 
do you happen to have any of that stuff? I'm high risk. I can't go out. And um, I think she needed, it was beans and, and um, is what she really needed. Wow. And so I said, hey, I, I was all out of pinto beans. I had just went to the store and I literally got the last bag oh my of goodness. pinto beans. And um, so I said, yeah. So I gave her, you know, some pinto beans. Um, I know she had talked about making chili. <laughs> I had just made chili and I did a live demo on it as well. And um, so I had frozen different bags. I put all my food in Ziploc baggies that we don't. That's a great eat. idea. Normally, That's I make tons of food idea. and tell people, "Hey, come get it," you know. And and uh, this time around, you know, I just froze it because you don't know when you're going to have more food. And so right. I packed up, you know, some um, chilies um, or chili beans, and I gave her some eggs and yogurts and string cheese and oh, pinto so beans and any of our like whatever food I had as well as dry food, even rice. She didn't ask for rice, but I gave her some. And I said, is there anything else you need? And she kind of hesitated. I said, please, just ask me. She goes, do you happen to have bread? And Aww. I just so happened to have a brand new loaf of bread. And I said, yes. And I was thinking in my mind, I should offer bread. And um, so um, I just took her a bag. And since she's high risk, I, I wiped everything down and I put it down. and. And, um, you know, she's someone that I've known since, geez, I, I went to school with her daughter. So since I was in third grade and oh my gosh. I'm about to be 35, so I really age. <laughs> Ooh, you just told your age. Yeah, I'm proud. <laughs> I'm proud. I might have a COVID-19 <laughs> lockdown birthday if we, we have to be, um, you know, locked down for another month. I know. My birthday's tomorrow and I'm oh. going to have a lockdown birthday. <laughs> fun yes exactly so that's amazing now how do they find your group so I have it publicly so all you have to do is um, look for cooking with Jesse Ray and it's j-e-s-s-i-e -S 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 -E, and then Ray is r-a-e and um, if for some reason you can't find it um, you can email me that's what my um, page looks like if you guys can see it um, if you guys um, want to email me it's same thing cooking with Jesse Ray at gmail.com so if you can't find the site I can probably you know send you a link or get you um, logged in that way but it is public so you shouldn't have a problem um, also um, if you're already a friend of our group you can send invites to your other friends that's great. Okay, so what about Instagram? Do you have an Instagram? I don't have an Instagram yet. I mean, I don't have a cooking Instagram yet. Um, I didn't think about it really, but I think um, it might happen. I think that that's a would good be idea. great. Oh my gosh, yeah. that would be great. That's a really good idea. Yeah, so I'm excited because that's a good idea. I do like that because you could post on Instagram and send it directly to your Facebook and it makes it kind of nice. It kind of does yeah. that double up, yeah. huh? And so we have some information on the bottom of the screen and how they can get a hold of you. So you've also got an email, it looks like. Yes. So like I said, it's cookingwithjessieray at gmail.com. I just Very created nice. that one. Um, it, also, I was going to say, we actually have a lot of guys that get down on these challenges, or not so much challenges, uh, what well, they do on the challenges, but in cooking. Um, I have a friend, um, he is a dad of two kids, a single dad of two kids, and he first he was posting pictures and then he went ahead and recorded a video of him cooking wow. and he's like asking the son so what are we doing my little chefs what are we doing and, <laughs> and they're getting involved with it as well and um and it's great we have another guy on there he always posts pictures of his food so now he's on this site and he's posting pictures they made some him and his wife made some abondigas oh uh, he literally took pictures step by step of everything oh. he did um and it was great and it's it it looked so good looked so good <laughs> he wanted to go knock on his door uh -huh. i'm sure yeah. i have another friend that's a guy he um i know he was a single dad i don't know if he's married or has a girlfriend now um but he raised his two kids and he learned how to cook and i tell you the food he puts on there is all like keto friendly oh and it looks bomb he made this chili riano with a red sauce and had like an egg on top of it oh, and we we're all wow. like <laughs> that looks good. Like it straight looked like a gourmet, like high class, um, like a restaurant dish. Like restaurant yeah. quality. Yeah. I have another friend that um, worked for a very high end restaurant. Um, probably one of the most expensive restaurants in Fresno here. I don't want to leave a name. I don't know if I'm allowed to. Right. But he just transferred down to Southern California and he had made a comment about, he said something like, oh, blessings are coming your way. I said, you know what would be blessing for me? Is if you got on here and showed us one of your little fancy gourmet, you know, 
$7,500 dish meal. Right. <laughs> and fancy, he, he, smanchy. Yes. And he is willing to do that, so I'm excited. Oh, that's mm-hmm. great. Okay. And so the um, so usually do they show you step by step, or they usually show you the end product? Some people will take pictures because they're like, I don't feel comfortable being live or recording myself. So some people will take pictures step by step and then like in a collage and post it. Some people will do videos and post it. Some people will do videos and not show their face and just okay. the food. Yes. Um, some people do live videos and, and the live videos are so fun, but it's so funny. I now look at my Facebook page and I'll have like 60, 70 notifications oh, on Facebook. And I'm like, so awesome. all from the group because it's so active. That's so exciting. Mm-hmm. And so when did you start this? I don't even know. <laughs> Was it's, it, was it, it before or after lockdown? It was after lockdown. It was no after way. lockdown, yes. Oh, and my gosh. And you already have been that successful. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to say, like, I've been successful. In fact, like I said, originally I thought it was just going to be me doing videos, like, once a week. Um, and it's it's not me. In fact, I've tried to step back a little bit so that way everybody can get on there. I don't want to, like, bombard just me. But, like, my aunt, she's... <laughs> She's so techie. Her <laughs> videos are so awesome. Like she'll record and then she'll turn around. They look like all fancy and like, you know, and yeah. So I'm like, well, we definitely have time on our hands to be able to do all that. And it's fun. And um, we have another friend, um, Mary, that she um, did like a sourdough bread starter, like the starter of how to make sourdough. And she did it like day by day, talking about feeding, like the yeast and all that stuff. And people got on. They started doing dough too. In fact, um, I had submitted a picture of two beautiful loaves of bread that someone had made. And it looked so, there it is right there. It looked so, isn't that pretty? That's beautiful. There's no way I can do that. My mom. Oh, don't doubt yourself. I know, huh? Don't doubt yourself. My mom made beer ox, and she made the, the homemade bread. And I got to tell you, her beer ox looked so good. It's too bad she yeah. won't let you over to taste them. Right? <laughs> Total lockdown. <laughs> Total lockdown everywhere, guys. Yeah. Yes, but it's it's better that way. We all got to stay safe and mm-hmm. healthy. Yeah. Um, so what um, what have you faced any challenges with this? Um, it kind of, <laughs> let's hear them. Um, you know, there's times where like I'm, um, cooking and, and all of a sudden I'm second guessing myself because people are watching me I and see. I'm like, one time I put soy sauce in my food and I thought it was Worcestershire sauce. And I was oh. like, what am I doing? I mean, it didn't taste bad, but I'm right. like, what am I doing? Um, my five-year-old, he'll come on and goes, hi, I'm Chef Zachary. And a lot of the times he's right there with me. And he sits there and I'm like cooking. And he's in the background as if he's mocking me. But he's, not, oh, you know, he's just trying to he's cook trying too. trying to cook with you. Yeah, and, and he's my little chef. Um, he he's is. always been. Oh, he's yeah. going to he's gonna grow up and be a good chef. Heck yeah. He's going to be on, uh, what's that kid's cooking show with Gordon Ramsay? Um, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Master geez. Chef, thank you. <laughs> Master Chef so Junior. <laughs> One time, a long time ago, I'd made chicken and dumplings, and he was little. I gotta say, he's like two and a half, three. And he was up there looking. He ended up adding leaves into the soup and <laughs> string. I was like, really? I had to throw the whole thing out. He, um, it's definitely my challenge child. <laughs> I remember when you were pregnant with him. Oh my goodness, that was. That was I've, known, a, I've known you so long. I used to do your nails. You did, and you were awesome. And I miss you doing my nails. And I don't know if I knew you before my daughter was even born. I think she was very young. Very young, yeah. Yes. Yes. A uh, long time ago. Time flies. Yes, it does. It does. Mm-hmm. And you're still, you still look as young as you did back then, <laughs> beautiful as ever. Well, thank you. And the same goes for you. <laughs> thank you. And so what else do you have going on? You have a few other things going on. Um, I, I don't know how to sew. And a while ago, I was like, I wanted to learn how to sew. So my mom let me borrow her sewing machine that she had at the time. And I never once um, looked at it. Um, I was like, yeah, I never did. So now, several years later, because I want to say this is when my son was like, I was still pregnant with my son. And um, I decided, you know what? My dad is a maintenance instructor at a um, an older person's home. I don't know if it's like a convalescent home, but, it, you know, um, it's an older person person's home and um, I know the supplies are getting low everywhere hospitals doctor's offices um, 
just everywhere. And so I just told my dad, I was like, you know, does your, your work need masks? I'll, I'll make some. Wow. So I bought this little itty bitty sewing machine because I didn't want to spend a lot of money. Yes. Realized I didn't know what I was doing and just. So I have been the last three or four days, I was up to one this morning, sewing masks. Oh, I, wow. I had to make myself go to bed and I just, I felt so defeated so many times because. Yes. Like I said, I didn't know how to sew. I, I, me and my boyfriend sat down the night I had my sewing machine, and we watched YouTube videos, and we pretty much learned together. Wow. And And it was fun. That's great. And um, it's just trial and error right now, and I was so frustrated. I literally, I had my hands in my face. I know we're not supposed to touch our face, but I had my hands <laughs> in my face so many times. Sanitized. <laughs> and, and I wanted to cry. Yes, I understand. it kept getting jammed or the bobbin thing didn't work. And, and it's such a little machine. And, and it's just like, I wanted to kick it. I wanted to kick it and throw it. But <laughs> I my goal is, I don't know if this is feasible, but my goal is to make 100 masks. I, I, and now I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I have faith in you. I have faith in you. Yeah, it might it might happen, but it might be after all this COVID-19 clears and, you know, Christmas time. People are going to get masks for Christmas presents. There you go. There you go. Oh, my gosh. Actually, one of the girls on the our page, she goes, you should hold a contest, a cooking contest, and whoever wins should get a couple masks. I'm like, that's a good idea. That's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. So, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to take a commercial break, and we will be right back. If your home floods, who will you call? When your house springs a leak, it's time to call Clean Master Emergency Flood Service at 559-213-9430. Clean Master will be there in 60 minutes to start fixing your home. And Clean Master bills your insurance directly, saving you the hassle because you've got enough to worry about. Clean Master also offers carpet and upholstery cleaning, carpet repair, pet odor removal, and more. Remember, Clean Master Emergency Flood Service. 559-213-9430 and visit cleanmasterflood.com Pour yourself a glass of crybaby wine available at the market and Sam's Italian Deli and remember to ask for crybaby wine at your favorite restaurant. about the higher good of food, right? You're growing a product that people enjoy really all over the world. I mean, how does that make you feel? I think about that all the time. I think about the families uh, sitting around a, a table enjoying a meal. I, I just see that what we do brings families together. I mean, we're blessed. We're, we're in paradise for, for food. Kern Family of the Kern Family Farm invites you to eat delicious, nutritious, organic produce available at the Gnarly Carrot. Located at 32954 Road 222 in North Park, California, the Gnarly Carrot is a local, natural, seasonally changing market offering a wide range of products from local Central Valley vendors. Get your caffeine fix, grab a smoothie, and support small businesses. Learn more at kernfamilyfarm.com and visit the Gnarly Carrot today. Doctor in Sukasa allows you to connect with your doctor when you need a quick treatment. Avoid a trip to a medical clinic or emergency room and connect by video with your doctor from your home, work, or anywhere. Just go to drnsukasa.com on your phone, tablet, or computer. Doctor in Sukasa provides quality care that is convenient, bilingual, and affordable, so you are never left without access to health care. Visit drnsukasa.com today. Ghost Golf is Fresno's most spectacular family entertainment center. It's frightening how much fun you'll have on our 18-hole indoor haunted graveyard course. Skeletons welcome you, but watch out. All sorts of creatures may come to life. Ghost Golf is perfect for scary good parties, so book yours today. You'll get free plays at the Mummy Shooting Gallery, arcades, and air hockey. Check out our party and weekday specials online and like us on Facebook. Come play at family-friendly Ghost Golf. Yeah! Good times will haunt you. 
For all your real estate needs, call Julia Tadich with Clovis First, 559-323-2213, or visit clovisfirst.com. That's C-L-O-V-I-S, the numeral one, ST.com. Whether you're looking to buy a home or sell a home, get a loan, or whatever the case may be, call Julia Tadich. The Saga of Bridget and Amanda by Carol Love Forbes brings to life the struggles of historical women in early America. Find the Saga of Bridget and Amanda on Amazon and Barnes and & Noble and order your copy today. At Laulea Travels, we strive to make your vacation experience as relaxing as possible. From the time you start dreaming about it to the time you're sharing your vacation photos with your friends and coworkers. Our vow is to treat your vacation as if it were our own. If personal service, attention to detail, and years of travel experience are important to you, then let Laulea Travels plan your next dream vacation. Visit laoleatravels.com or call 559-360-1933. A dynamic litigator, in-tune listener, and forward thinker with almost a decade of experience, Nasser Nekumanish is a skilled attorney servicing clients throughout the Central Valley. When you meet a lawyer, call 559-441-0114 and ask for Nasser Nekumanish. Linda Lee Kane is an author of fantasies, thrillers, contemporary fiction, and children's books. Order a book by Linda Lee Kane on Amazon or on lindaleekane.com. Get twice the results in half the time. Call 559-349-7934 to schedule your appointment with Clovis Fit Body Boot Camp today. And follow Fit Body Boot Camp Clovis on Instagram. I've got Jessica Ray here, and so she's going to tell us a little bit more about her food and her cooking and her Facebook page. Welcome back, Jessica. Hi. <laughs> we didn't go too far. We but didn't hey. go too far, but here we are, and so she's going to go ahead and tell us about her stuff. So as we were talking before, I have that cooking page called Cooking with Jesse Ray, and it's funny because the chick that... Um, all the reason why we started is because she couldn't boil beans and make rice. <laughs> she actually called me today. She didn't know I was doing this. She's like, so I went back and I watched your video of how to make beans and rice. And I think I did it. And I go, oh, my goodness, that's awesome. I'm going to tell everybody that right now when, <laughs> when, when you do it. So she's like, I'm going to put some food aside. I'm going to, you know, drop it off to where, you know, I don't see you. And, and um, she goes, I oh. want you to, she wants me to taste it live <laughs> to, to be like, you know, compare. Because she was so funny when I told her to make Spanish rice and how to do it. She thought she needed to cook the rice, then season it. I'm like, no, girl. No. <laughs> You're supposed to call me. I was going to walk you through. And I literally think it was like two or three days later that um, I created the page. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That's amazing. So um, have you gotten to taste it yet? or when I haven't. You... No, she called oh, me today. Gonna, she called yeah. me today. Yeah. She's going to drop it off. Uh -huh. Oh, my gosh. That's and amazing. What I thought about doing is um, one of the other ladies on our group, she goes um, – 
you know, you should do is, is eventually like do a taste test. I'm like, yeah. So like we do a challenge after all this stuff is lifted. And if people want to do a challenge, they can always put like whatever it is, the challenges in a bag with their names and then close it up. So I can't see, and then I'll mix them all up and then I'll try. And then I could say, oh, or I can have a few people, you know, like try it and be like, oh, this is the winner. They made the best, you know, like whatever. Chili cook -off, like a with chili cook-off. With different foods. That'll Which be great. I do got to say, a couple years ago when I was working at a financial place, um, they had a chili cook-off and one of the guys had won year after year after year. <laughs> and I had won that year. And so, oh, oh it check was great. you out. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was you great. like, that's yep. right. Yep. <laughs> so um, another um, a chick had gotten onto our site. And I, I don't know. I, I should have asked people, is it okay to say their names? I'm sure it is. But um, <laughs> just in case, um, she had gotten on and she goes, you know, I'm, I'm single and I live by myself. So she was saying how she makes waffles and pancakes. She makes a bunch of them, oh, cools yum. them down. She separates them with wax pepper or wax peppers, wax papers, <laughs> and then um, puts it in a Ziploc baggie and then freezes it. And it's like, I do the same thing for my kids. Oh, yum. So then I jumped on and I said, okay, well, since she did it with the waffles, let me show you what I do with my kids. And I made pancakes, but I added food coloring. So there are different oh, colors. Oh, fun. And I was trying to do a happy face for my son. I'm trying to talk live. I'm trying to show on the video. My <laughs> son's right there. And I totally mess up the pancake. And I'm like, this is crazy. So on right now, um, on the screen, if you guys can see, there's some breakfast food. Someone had did um, two English muffins and an egg to look like a smiley face. Oh, how cute. Um, oh, that's an egg. That's an egg up there. It's like an omelet. Is that bacon? Um, on the bottom, it's turkey bacon. Okay. And okay. actually on the right-hand side, there's this little round sausage. That's actually a vegetarian sausage patty because oh. I can actually say those, the big picture and the bottom picture is actually from my sister's house. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, I don't know if there's any, looking at it. Okay, so this right here is what my mom actually made. My mom does, um, wow. has foreign exchange students. Okay. Um, and so she has really learned how to cook a lot of different foods. And so this right here is like a spring roll wrap that she did. Um, she um, did like some sauces and some soups. Um, the bottom right is another picture of like a bean. Um, so people are really getting all out. I'm like, we're all going to gain weight after this. And Not we, necessarily. We jokingly said we needed to start a um, a workout thing. And I was like, <laughs> well, we can just do cooking with Jesse Ray and working out. You know, we could work out and eat at the same time. <laughs> Need to start another group that's connected to your group yes. for working out. This right here, my sister made. Um, and she showed, like, this one was a like, picture. This was a rosemary, like a flatbread that she made. Oh, and yeah. um, she had a rosemary in there. And I'm like, oh, that looks really good. And it seems Ooh. very light and refreshing. Uh, okay, and then you could dip it in like olive oil. Oh, oil. yes. Oh, oh, like gosh. a flavored olive oil, like yeah. a garlic infused. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> That's dangerous. I'm hungry. I don't think I've had dinner yet. <laughs> Um, so here, um, the bottom right picture, I just got to say, this is my cousin Amanda, who lives in Texas. So Ooh. she, when I did the Starbucks challenge, she went out and she purchased um, a goat's milk or oat milk creamer with the caramel macchiato coffee. And she goes, this is my Starbucks challenge. So even though she didn't show us a picture of her drink being made, she just sent us a picture <laughs> of her drink. Up on top was someone else's Starbucks challenge where they threw in um, the actual Starbucks coffee. And on the left is a grocery bag full of food and some eggs that we had donated to oh, people. very nice. Anytime I cook, I always, um, I'm a big um, Myers cleaning person. I, I have the oh, Grove yes. subscription. I nice. love it. So anytime I cook, I always spray and sanitize my whole kitchen. I'm constantly washing my hands, sanitizing everything, anytime I touch anything. Um, and then when I'm done cooking, I sanitize everything. That way, if anybody needs food, I they know from start to finish my kitchen was clean okay. and sanitized. Okay, very nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. So right here is um, beer ox. This is actually um, a friend. Rocks. This one's not oh, mine. Not yours. This okay. is my neighbor and a longtime family friend, and she made some. She's like, you know, I'm too shy to do live videos, and she'll show pictures. And and the great thing is, people show pictures of their kids making food. Aww. My nieces have got into it. Um, my neighbor's kid has gotten into it. Other people's gotten into it. So this was her beer ox, and um, she had one for me to try, but I wasn't home and she gave it to her mom instead. So I was sad. Oh, I didn't get it. no. <laughs> this right here is my chicken gumbo. 
that oh I made. Gosh. I love making gumbo. Um, the story behind this is my grandmother, uh, my dad's mom, lives in Arkansas, and she told me a little old lady from Louisiana taught her how to make chicken gumbo, and um, this one actually has no seafood in it. Really important with gumbo is your roux. So like your roux, and you can see on the top left corner, that was already my oil and my um, flour starting to mix together and kind of get colorful, colored, darker. You want it yes. dark. On the right, you can see how it's getting even more darker. The bottom left is me adding my okra. I am a big okra fan. I will put way more okra than it needs to be. Okay. Um, and then the right is the finished product. And for me, we just do white rice and we put that right over it. And I, you know, some people there love it. There you go. A lot. I like mine juicy. Okay. Yeah, with tons of okra. Very nice. This right here, so I had to add this picture. And the bottom left is our dear friends, Jim and, and Rochelle. Okay. Jim is the one that um, talked about his coffee and his wife gave him the coffee cup. Oh, very cute. They, okay. um, and the other pictures is my sister making um, some green healthy food, or like a smoothie. And of course, Jim and Rochelle are drinking their smoothies that they um, make too. And okay. I'll just plug them in real quick. They own Juice It Up on Fresno State ground. So if you guys are all over on Fresno State, obviously not right now. Okay. Uh, and you guys want some good fresh juice, they make amazing juices. And Very nice. Good. So juice it up. Okay. So how do you find them? Um, they are in Fresno, at Fresno State in, okay. by the bowling alley. Very nice. Yes. Okay. And there is free parking. Um, certain spots uh, at Fresno State, so I've learned where they're at, and it's like a half hour parking, no one touches it because, you know, if you go to Fresno State, you're gonna be there for a long time. So um, on that one, you know, I, I find that parking spot and I go right to them, and okay. generally we go there after my daughter gets her braces tightened yes. for the juices. Ouch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so. This right here, oh, the bondigas that a friend of ours yes. made. This was his pictures step by step. I know how to make a bondigas. I've done it. I've even done a vegetarian style on wow. it. Um, I've done a vegan style um, with like no cheese or anything. I like I put cheese in everything. Um, I love cheese. <laughs> and, and this looks so good. And I just I had to share that picture. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. This right here, um, you see, a lot of people are roasting vegetables. This was. Um, Actually, there was quite a few people. I saw about four or five different people in our group that had Brussels sprouts and green beans. They all did it differently, and I thought that was really cool. The top picture was just someone frying up, um, like almost like a, a pita Wonton? chip. Oh, okay. Yeah, and actually, when I did my beer ox, I had the leftover, because I used biscuit. My leftover biscuit, I had two that was flattened out. I put them in a little bit of hot oil. I fried it up, and I put cinnamon on it, and my kids loved it. Oh, my goodness. I mean, that's I don't nice want to waste food. It's that's not time a nice to waste food. Treat. Yeah. So on these pictures, the chili riana that I told you guys about with the um, sauce and the egg is on the top left. Doesn't beautiful. that look beautiful? Yeah, it does. Right down underneath is another friend of mine, and um, she made two different. And um, the back one has cream on it. The front one doesn't. She's like, my brother wanted a cream sauce. I didn't. And they both looked delicious. Yes. On the right is my chili that I had made, and I like, of course, you got to have corn tortillas to dip in the chili yes and so definitely. I just heated up some corn tortillas I did not make homemade corn tortillas oh they look they look very they look I, very good I have a gas stove so I put it right on the gas oh. to give it that homemade look yes it does I don't, is that all the pictures that might be all the pictures oh here we go so some desserts Top left is a friend of mine's daughter. Um, she was making cookies. Oh, the yeah. bottom is my mom making peanut butter cookies. You see the cream on the left and then her hand, you know, and she's showing people like the size to do it. Yes. Um, there is also the strawberry muffins. And on the top right is a friend of um, mine in the group. She did these apple turnovers. Yum. And oh my goodness, I, I, I feel like I can smell it. Right, <laughs> and she made those at the same time she made her beer ox. I'm like, girl, you're getting down. Uh, oh, like, she's multitasking. Yes. I was like, oh okay. my goodness gracious. Mm -hmm. oh, and there's just um, let's see. I had made um, oh corned beef hash. And when we went to the store, this is when everything first got crazy, and people were like getting crazy in there. I wanted just a head of lettuce or cabbage, and I couldn't find it. So oh I had gosh. to improvise. I had to buy like the shredded, and of course it's not the same, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And um, I didn't have any potatoes, so I used hash browns. 
Oh, wow. So, that's you, creative. Yeah, that's like right now we can't find certain foods, so it's all about trying to switch things <laughs> that's up. That's so creative. Yes. Oh my goodness. So um, that's just, you know, a couple of the pictures, breakfast. In fact, that's actually our leftover from corned beef and hash. The next morning I, or it was corned beef. Next morning I turned it into corned beef and hash and added a, an egg on it. That's great. Yes. Yum. All of that, all of those pictures look absolutely delicious. And that's so much fun. It is. Oh, is this another oh, one? Oh, yeah. There's just some more. Someone did like a chili mac um, that looks delicious. We've done enchilada. I've I, I make homemade enchilada sauce, and normally mm. when I make it, I make a big batch. I make like two pans of enchilada sauce, give my mom some, and freeze the rest. And everyone always wants my recipe. And this little thing is, I don't have a recipe. I just kind of throw things together, and I don't measure, and I'm like, I don't know. So I'm like showing people videos, like, okay, this is how I make my enchilada sauce. And so I show them, and, you know. It's just kind of a taste test kind yes. of thing. I understand. And this is just kind of some more things um, that people, you know, have showed. Like, just give an example. Like, oh, this is what I put in. This is me sauteing. This is, like, the finished product. Okay. But this is this group has really grown. I just, I, I love the fact that everyone gets involved in it. And some people are just kind of shy. They don't want to do anything. But they're like, we love watching you guys. We love oh, seeing that's this. that's great. And obviously, because it's 247 people. <laughs> yeah, if they didn't like it, they would leave the group. Because yes. I've done that where I'm like, this is too much. I left a group before. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely. So. Oh, my gosh. That's so yeah. amazing. How yeah. fun. Yeah. Yeah. And so you also have a podcast you do. I do have a podcast. Um. It is um, not for the faint of heart. I, I will say um, one thing that we have been described as is real, raw, and uncut. Um, it is called Random Thoughts with Ray. And um, I'm on Instagram, Twitter. I have an email account. I also have um, a YouTube channel. Um, it's kind of slowed down right now because of the whole COVID-19. And I'm trying to focus on the cooking stuff yes. and the okay. mask and stuff like that. But... Um, the first several seasons I was seeing, or the first se season I was single and I was doing the online dating. And so me and my best friend, we would get together. Actually, he wasn't even gonna be on my pod. He just, one episode, we realized we clicked and we did great and so he became my co-host. Okay. And um, we are in like seven different countries. Uh, we're in like 28 different states in the US. Um, I've been partnering up with a couple other podcast groups. I'm doing a podcast. Um, with another podcast from England this Saturday. And of course I have to get up early because they are way ahead of us. Okay. Um, I'm setting up another one with another um, podcast people that are on the East Coast. And we just did some test runs on that. So like I was saying, the first season I was single. I was going out dating and, and going out with my friends and having fun. And so that was what my podcast was about. Okay, okay, so you're talking about yeah. all the details of that. I, I was, <laughs> which is why I say this is not, you know. And, and there were some things that we think about but we don't say and i said them all and people are like you're saying what we're thinking yeah and so that's why i tell people this is not a kid podcast this is not a you know at heart but because um i just got not that i got tired of doing all that stuff it just it got to the point where it was just it was redundant and you know and i got tired of talking about it all and then being in a relationship now i mean obviously i'm not online dating anymore um and, and so I had already talked before I even got into a relationship. I'd even talked to my co-host Nate about um, I wanted to start changing the podcast and gear it more to, you know, if it's domestic violence, I want to talk about domestic violence. Okay. And me and him both come from a Christian background. And there was a um, conversation how we were raised as Christians and, and how we were um, – certain things that we were taught that was wrong and certain things that were taught that was okay and how it can affect some people and some people it was good. And when I was younger, we had the whole movement of um, the purity movement and wearing the promise rings. And that was a big movement then. And so we talked about stuff like that. So now the podcast is gearing more to um, a whole different type of people. And, and we want to be able to then have people know that they can listen to season two or season three and be like, Oh, okay. Th this isn't like season one. This wasn't the wild, <laughs> crazy season one. This is something now we can talk about and we can relate about because we're talking about domestic violence. We're talking about um, breast cancer. We're talking about depression and anxiety. Like we want to actually yeah. get real serious okay. podcasts about it. Yeah. And, and I'm, on, I'm on Apple. I'm on Spotify. I'm on iHeartRadio. I do have an Instagram that's called Dating Sucks Life Happens. Um, 
I'm on Breaker, Google. You just got to put random thoughts with Ray in the Google search and you will see every platform I'm on. That's amazing. I just warn people, if you're easily offended, do not listen to season one unless it's like the last three or four episodes and that's okay. Yeah. Because <laughs> Be that's, where, that's where you start seeing it change. Okay. And, and I was going through some stuff and I had people, um, AJ from Y101, our morning show yes. here in Fresno, he found us and he reached out to us and he was on a podcast with us. And there was an episode where I just was kind of heartbroken and I had ended up like kind of cried a little bit. And he was just like, you know, when I heard that, I felt you. I felt you because you show that. And I don't. Yeah, I don't, raw emotion. Yeah, I don't edit my podcast. I don't do any of that because I want people to feel that they're there with me. Yes. You know, and, and that's why when people say you're you're real uncut and uncensored. Yeah, because I say what we're all thinking. Right. And, okay. I, and I like that. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, that, that would be very interesting to listen to. I know it's very hard to be really open and raw with people. It is. And especially when you have, like, different, I mean, 28 states and yeah. different countries and yeah. all around the world. I never listening. expected it. I mean, I figured just like the cooking thing. I thought yeah. five, ten people. But to have as many as I have. I mean, my Instagram page is over 700 people following me. Wow. And I was just like, what? That's amazing. Yeah. Okay, and so you have something going on with NBC? Okay, so um, real quick, because I know we're running out of time, um, I wanted to find like a, a debit card for my daughter because she goes, she always goes, Mom, I want to buy this online. Can, can you, you know, can I give you cash? Because I'm all about her learning responsibility. Okay. And I was like, yeah, you know, and I, I always say, I'm a single mom on a budget. Sometimes I don't have the money in my banking account, so I have to go to the bank, put her money in, and, and I just get... Sometimes I just don't want to do that. Yeah. You know, and especially when it's a last minute thing. And and then I feel guilty, so I do it anyway. So I started researching about um, debit cards for kids. And I find this debit card called Busy Kids. And it's backed by Shark Tank. And I believe it was Kevin oh, Kevin nice. O'Leary um, was the one that, that did it. And so there's so many scams out. So I'm oh, all about, yes. like, making careful. sure it's the right one. And pretty much what it is, you set, set your chores up because it's teaching kids to be responsible. So you can add chores for whatever kid differently. You set a certain dollar amount. If they do the chore, they check it off. Every Thursday, you double check. It's just like payroll. You approve it. If you forget to approve it, they're not going to get paid. Okay. And it's connected to my banking account. And then you can also send bonuses. Like it was um, my daughter's birthday. So I gave her a bonus. She, Easter time. I said, baby girl, do you want Easter basket or do you want money? She goes, money. I said, okay. Wow. So it's nice. I can then give her a bonus and say, hey, Easter money. Then the nice thing is you can do a certain percentage. You give them a percentage of what they want to save, a percentage of what they want to spend, and a percentage of what they either want to donate or add into stocks. Oh, my gosh. And so, you know, at first I had like 50% saved because I'm all about no matter if you get good grades, birthday money, you have to put half your money That's into great. savings. And she has a savings account for that. So I have my son, my daughter, and my son's oldest sister that I have chores for them. They all have a card. They have their own PIN number. I see everything that's going on. I see every transaction. You can't go to an ATM and pull out money, but you can go shopping like at Walmart or Starbucks, and you can get cash back if they wanted to then. There's no additional fees. There is a one-time year fee of like $7.99 per card. It's just like maintenance fees, just like a banking account. So... um, I've been using it. I absolutely love it. I've gotten my daughter an Apple stock and um, Amazon stock and um, off of it. And it wasn't much that we put in, just a little bit, just kind of play with it. And I get this email um, not too long ago from the president of Busy Kids saying that, you know, and I'm just thinking it's a random newsletter, saying that, you know, they have YouTube, you know, stuff on YouTube and, you know, questions. And he said that they're trying to find someone in the Fresno area that, um, that uses this and um, they said they looked into my account and saw how much activity we actually have and he had asked if I um, would possibly be interested in doing a interview with the news reporter and obviously because the whole COVID thing it wouldn't be in person it would be over um, FaceTime and on, on iPhones and I said yeah sure no problem and he's okay we'll let you know and I'm thinking I I'm sure I'm sure they sent it out to like a hundred other people in Fresno and I, I looked it up to make sure, once again, it wasn't a scam. Um, I checked out the YouTube videos, and um, he asked me a few questions. I answered them, and he goes, okay, well, I'll let you know more details. And yesterday, they sent me a thing saying, hey, 
um, we have a spot for you. You can either do Thursday, Friday, or we could do next week. What would be good? So I gave them my times and then they emailed me again and said, okay, you're good for Thursday at 2 p.m. And I said, yeah, he goes, okay, NBC News Reporter will be the one contacting wow. you. So it'll be on your local news station as well. I don't know when it's going to broadcast. I don't know if it's a live thing or not. Um, the uh, president said that if I wanted to do a test run with him through the FaceTime to make sure everything's good, that we would do that. Um, so I'm just waiting to hear back from them. But That's tomorrow so at 2 o'clock, I'll be doing an interview with NBC about the busy kids. And they're pretty much want to know why I did it and um, how we like it and how it was different before to now with the whole COVID thing. Which I can say, oh, it was my son's oldest sister's birthday. And since all the stuff we can't see her, I just gave her money on her Aww. debit card because I can't see her. And now she has that card and yeah. she can go online shopping or, or whatever. That's so, it's so nice. exciting. So how did you find that? Um, I think I just Googled and I was searching like kid-friendly yeah. debit cards. Okay. And once again, it was one of those, it was backed by Shark Tank. I looked at it and... You know, Kevin O'Leary on, on – and I love – I've seen every episode of Shark Tank since okay. season, season one, episode one, to now. Like, I've not missed an episode. That's great. And I remember busy kids on Shark Tank. And then it was Kevin that did it. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's the, that's the money man right yeah. there. And so I just felt that this was something that was going to be good for us. It was going to teach my daughter responsibility of, you want money? Okay, well, you need to work for it. And, yeah, I know most kids should, you know, oh, let's give our kids – um weekly allowances and stuff like that i'm all for it but i told my daughter you know yeah i'm only giving you 25 cents to make your bed but guess what you should be making your bed i shouldn't have to pay you to make your bed clean the kitchen or you know do the di i shouldn't have to pay you but i will and if you start doing this i'll increase the money you know and so i did so now it's more of a i just sent a weekly bonus to her now because she's stayed on top of everything that's great yeah. oh my gosh that's amazing i know i'm like it's fun i'm excited about it Oh my gosh. Okay, so is there anything else you'd like to share today? No, I think that's basically it. Just, you know, if you're bored and you want to learn how to cook or you want to watch other people cook or you know how to cook and you want to see people, just check us out. Um, Cooking with Jessie Ray on Facebook. All her information is on the bottom of the screen. Thank you so much for Thank being you. here today. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's all we have tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. Highlights, balayage, color, extensions, cuts, pure Brazilian blowouts, treatments. Contact Jordan Myers at Hair by Jordan. Did you know most hair and beauty salons in the Central Valley are not disposing of their chemicals correctly? Partner with us today to become an eco-friendly salon. Visit us online at greenbeautywaste.com. Our phone number is 559-367-7206. And be sure to visit us on Instagram and Facebook at Green Beauty Waste. Is everything in life draining you? Come to Stretch 360. Our professional staff can offer you many options for relaxation like deep tissue or hot stone massages, infrared medical grade sauna. Once you leave us, you'll look and feel like a million bucks. Stretch 360. Relaxation is only a stretch away. Clovis Community College may be free for you to attend. Call 325-5239 or visit clovischollege.edu for details. We offer general education classes for transfer and short-term training programs. When you need to get fit, contact Gary Torres, IFBB Pro, specializing in weight loss, body transformations, and contest prep. Email GaryTorres5336 at yahoo.com. Hey, I'm Chris DeVolt. Tune in every Friday night on CentralValleyTalk.com when I bring you Sex, Drugs, Chris DeVolt, where I'll give you three guesses on what we talk about. And I also vow to bring you one live local music act a week. So tune in every week because you never know what kind of music you're going to hear right here on CentralValleyTalk.com. 
The Space Colony Journals are an epic tale of a family's struggle to survive. Meet the courageous women and dangerous men who dare to carve a home on the alien world of Vensug. Get your copy today. Available on Amazon and GaleDaily'sFineArt.com. You enter this door with expired tags. Beyond is another dimension, a dimension of regulations, a dimension of long waits. You have reached the registration zone. What looks like an ordinary shop is actually Mitchell's Smog, located in the heart of the Tower District, a few minutes from the DMV. Mitchell's Smog offers your vehicle a star certified smog inspection. So remember Mitchell's Smog when you need to pass through the registration zone. Contact Sarah Hernandez of June and Matt Photography to schedule your portrait, engagement, wedding, or next family photo session. But that's not all. Sarah is also your personal brandographer, helping you ditch the stock photos and get images that sell. Call 559-412-3721. Visit juneandmattphoto.com and follow Sarah on Instagram and Facebook. Give your child the tools to succeed. The Yergubian Academic Center offers one-on-one -on -one and group educational lessons by appointment. Over 90% of our students show significant improvement in their academics in just three months. Students of the Yergubian Academic Center have gone on to the UCLA, UC San Diego, Yale, Stanford, and many more prestigious universities. Schedule a tutoring session today. Call 559-437-3973. The Art of Becoming Who We Are in Christ by Jolene Kennedy is a book about the process of maturity as we find our true identity since God's promises must be received, embraced, and activated within us. Get your copy today and check out JoleneKennedy.com. Welcome to CentralValleyTalk.com, the coronavirus fun and food headquarters. If you're hunkered in your bunker, hungry and need to eat, there is an option for food in Fresno's Tower District. Livingstone's Restaurant is open for takeout dining for lunch or dinner. Livingstone's is located at 831 East Fern near Wishon. Call them up, place your order, then pick it up. Call Livingstone's, 554-9662. Livingstone's, behind the old Bank of America building in the Tower District, 554-9662.